What's going on YouTube? Blade Edge here and I got another quick overview slash review for you and this is teetering between well it's over the budget it's under the higher end so anything between 100 and 200 um, they're just kind of what you make them I guess you would say um, so I'm going to do a knife that most people have probably reviewed seen a bunch of uh, probably I won't really want to watch it because you've seen a review on this a million times but I have some interesting stuff to say so stick around so just quick specs we got a overall length of 7.65 inches we got a closed length of 4.48 inches we got a blade length of 3.17 inches cutting edge of three inches on the dot got a blade thickness of 0.125 and let's see this is on os 10a not os 8 not os 10 os 10a and this is the clip point variant uh plain edge no serration stain wash gravery handle and 3.6 ounces Made in Taiwan, loved in America. So, I actually got this knife on the very first release somehow. I was on uh, River's Edge Cutlery, and just so happened that they dropped them. I was like, well, holy smokes, let me grab one of them. And then I realized just how big that drop was. And I have to say, I had it for all of three, four days. And uh, someone offered me a trade that I couldn't really pass up at the time. I regretted it right after, but I've come to know this person very good, and I now have a have a kind of good friend in the knife hobby that you know I've, I've never met. But uh, long story short, we trade a lot, we swap a lot. Uh, he's a really good guy. So after that, that you didn't really need to hear. This is the AD 20.5, and I wanted to do this uh, quick review because I have an AD 20 S coming in the next couple days and i'm going to want to do a review on that but i figured it wouldn't be fair to do one on that if i haven't done one on this yet when i've been carrying this knife for a couple weeks so about this knife one thing about me if you've watched my videos you know that i am a huge huge fan of detent i love really really strong detent it's one of my favorite things and with the way that the lock works on this knife, there there really isn't isn't detent. So, I mean, it kind of on this knife, it kind of is what you make it. Like depending on which way you know you push or pull or yeah. Sorry, I don't have a lot of room, so yeah, you know, it's, it's it's normally easy for me to open and close. I'm just there we go. I just gotta put a little little gusto. Um. So yeah, so it, you know it kind of sucks when when you go to open it and you got that you know right here there's nothing, but it does have that great closing when you're going to close the blade and close it on one hand and it completely pulls that blade down and in. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so boring pocket clip um, around this lanyard hole. Uh, you see Wampum, Pennsylvania, right? PM. Um, oh, sorry about that. And then you got Demco knives on this side, uh, AD twenty point five. Uh, then on the blade, you got Demco on one side and Os ten A Taiwan on the other. So one of the reasons I had a complaint with the first one that I got was when I got mine, the grind on it, the the edge of it was um, not good. So it was it was really uneven um, on this side. It was kind of still a little how it is now. Um, it was really small on the bottom, and then it got really big as it went up. And then this side was kind of big on the bottom. I kind of got small as it went up. And it, it kind of it kind of irritated me. I know this knife's only $150, but 
I'm a firm believer that even at $150, even at $20, I should not have to bring my knife home and sharpen it. I should not have to bring it home and fix the edge. Mistakes happen, things happen, um, stuff goes out that, you know, maybe got overlooked, and that's totally fine. I don't, I don't fault Demco, I don't fault anybody. I just, I was a little, just a little irritated, because I was super excited, and then I was like, man, now I'm going to have to take and sharpen this thing, and which it sharpened up really nice, by the way. Um, but I had made a comment about it on Facebook and, you know, got attacked by everyone that, oh, it's a $150 knife, you're expecting high-end quality, blah, blah. No, I'm just expecting an edge of my knife that can that can cut. That's, that's all I ask. And, but I mean, I've, I've gotten the same kind of thing on higher-end knives. It's just it's just one of those things that happens. And I don't send my knives, knives back. I, I'll fix the problem on my own. And it was just a little bit of a of a rant or you know a disappointment, but not at any fault. I I love Demco knives. Um, definitely one of my favorites. Sorry, I don't know if that is. Definitely one of my favorite knife makers out there. I almost everything that that comes out of Demco knives. I'm like, oh my gosh, I want that. So I have no fault for Demco knives at all, any way, shape, or form. And why would I? He didn't hand assemble it. It didn't assemble it, sharpen anything. It was made in Taiwan. I mean, someone probably just almost on their lunch break. I don't know. Anyways, so that's why I traded it. And this is actually the same knife I got back in a trade. So, what I love about this knife, uh, all the ways you can deploy it. I am just not on my game right now. So, you got your thumb stud. You got your reverse flick, you got your reverse finger flick, you got your thumb opening on that, you got your open like that, and then closing, I mean, it's just so satisfying. You can either let the blade down, you know, and catch it as it goes in. And you remember, you got that point right there where it sucks in the blade, so you don't even really have to snap it all the way to the handle. Once you get about right there, you can let go and it'll go ahead and pull it in i see a lot of people hold down the, the fin all the way until it's in the handle and you really don't have to do that and i mean it's just that that sound everybody loves that sound everybody's obsessed with that sound and i can see why this knife is a huge deal this this thing is amazing um little about this i play with it way too much and my screw backs out a little here and there not a big deal tighten it down i should probably put a little bit of loctite but it's got a little bit of blade wobble right now and I'm sure once I put oh yeah look here I'm sure once I tighten this guy down at the right side there we go tighten that down it's solid and oh maybe a little too tight now nah, I can still open and close it so yeah and in case you know some of you don't know, disengage the lock by pulling back and up on it, or I guess you can just say pulling up, pulling back. Anyway, pulling that switch, you can see even with a little light, you can do it. Um, I've taken apart this knife, and it's really easy to take apart and reassemble. Um, it kind of reminded me actually of a back lock, just a little bit, a little bit backwards and with a little bit more mechanic right there and um yeah i'm trying to remember actually you know what let's do this real quick sorry i was going to take it apart real quick and just show show the inside i'll have to do that in another video because my battery's just about toast on here but yeah it's running on ball bearings and uh they seem to be pretty decent ball bearings in my opinion and overall, I mean, everything about this knife is great. It's, it's got pretty good ergos, a little little sharp around the, the edges, but I mean, I don't, never, it doesn't bother me at all. It fits my big old meat club hands, just great. Uh, jimping up here is good. It's, it's got that kind of forward jimping where, well, actually it's, well, I don't know, kind of grabs your, your finger a little more going forward, it feels like. Um, anyways, great. Um, I don't think that you would ever disengage the lock by accident. You'd have to, yeah, there's no way you're doing that on accident. 
uh, you don't you don't feel the lock at all right there um, the grivery handles they got steel liners on the inside so grivery as much as I want to say it's not and I'm still not used to it is is plenty strong and durable and especially for for what this is and what it can handle and what you can do with it I mean you're you're not gonna go out and and cut a little piece of wood and the grabber is gonna snap in half you're gonna beat with this Demco 10.25 left um, anyways so I don't really got much else to say. Um, I'm going to compare this with the 20S, even though the 20S is more comparable to the 20. But I'm going to compare the two in just a couple days when it arrives. Uh, sorry I have to end this video so quickly. Um, again, this knife's been reviewed so many times, so many places. So if you found this interesting, give me a thumbs up, leave me a like. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you want to see next. Let me know what you like or dislike. And I've been Bladedge. Hope you guys have a great night. Thanks.